In this video, I'll be showing you how to create animated light rays for WWE stages using Sony Vegas Pro. I'm conducting these tutorials assuming a basic working knowledge of Sony Vegas, so if you have any specific operational questions that might not be addressed within the tutorial, feel free to comment with those. Alright, let's get started. Go ahead and open up Sony Vegas. Prior to getting started with this project, you'll want to have a stage image ready. I've already got mine preloaded along with a floor barricade overlay. Solo the stage image and open the event pan slash crop tool. Select the mask checkbox. Use the circle mask tool to crop the head of every spotlight on the stage. Now, open the Event Effects menu and choose Sony Brightness and Contrast from the list. Toggle the Brightness slider to full. Go ahead and render the light heads as a PNG image. Now you'll want to reopen a fresh stage image uh, since you used the last one to crop out the light heads and move up the brightness and stuff. Go ahead and start a clean slate. Open that PNG file into the project and place it in a track between the stage and the floor. Now, crop the first set of lights that you wish to animate together. For a more realistic look, I animate my lights independently so that each one has a different motion track. For a quicker result, you can animate two, three, or even an entire section of lights together, however this looks unrealistic and lazy. After selecting the light you wish to animate first, Add the Sony Rays and Sony Glow effects. Make sure that the glow is after the rays. Within the glow menu, set the color slider to your desired selection. I'm going to use white. Now, you only need to worry about intensity and percent. Intensity refers to the brightness of the glow. Depending on the brightness of the background image and the size of the light head, this value may vary between different projects. Play around and see what fits best given the circumstances. To add a smoky, blurred effect to the light head, toggle the glow percent slider up slightly. Same as earlier, play around and see what fits best. Now onto the rays. There are a lot more options in this panel, but there are only three that you need to worry about. Amount, X position, and Y position. We'll talk about X and Y position first. X-axis refers to movement left and right, while Y-axis refers to movement up and down. These are the two values that you'll manipulate to animate the light ray. Toggle the X and Y sliders to bring the ray into view. Note that the X slider is inverted, so moving the slider to the right brings the ray towards the left, and vice versa. The amount slider refers to the length of the ray. The higher the amount, the longer the ray. Once you've set this amount, you won't need to animate it. To animate the ray, select the Animate button from the bottom left of the effect window. The way animation works is that you set the destination positions at your desired time and then watch as the ray moves from one destination to the next. This is called keyframing. Keyframes, which are the destination positions, are represented by these little icons on the animation timeline. As you can see, the first keyframe is set by the position we defined earlier. Before we begin, select the icon with the padlock to sync the cursor with the timeline. This means that wherever you click on the animation timeline will appear in the preview window. To add a keyframe, double click anywhere on the animation timeline. Now use the X and Y sliders to, the, to determine the ray's new position. Move the keyframe to a desired point on the animation timeline. Now watch as the ray moves from keyframe to keyframe over the span of time you've selected. Depending on the length and speed of the motion, it often looks better to smoothen the transition. Right click on each keyframe and select Smooth Fade. Now go ahead and add as many different keyframes as you like over as much time as you like.
For the next light, go ahead and add a new track, crop your selection, and repeat the above steps for as many lights as you need to add. For the sake of the tutorial, I'll animate four of these lights. And it's that simple. I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys come up with. Uh, so for now, thank you for watching and feel free to leave suggestions for future videos and tutorials in the comments.